Protégé comes with some very useful ontology visualization features that I'd like to show you for starters in this lesson. First of all, before jumping to the Protégé interface, we'll have to download the plugin called GraphVis and add it to the plugins folder where we first extracted our Protégé package. So, in your favorite browser, just search for GraphVis and we'll go to the GraphVis website, look for the download section, here it is. And then, in my case, because I'm using a Windows machine, I'm going to choose the Windows option and download the zip file. So, once that's downloaded, we'll go ahead and extract the package into the plugins folder of Protege. And for the purpose of clarity here, we'll just be renaming the folder GraphVis so that we know what this is. The next important thing we need to make sure of is that the dot application path is properly specified in Protege preferences. But how do we do that? First, in Protege, we'll go to File, Preferences, and from the Preferences dialog, we'll select the Alvis tab, and in the path field under the dot application path heading, we'll browse to where the dot.exe file is. So in my case, I first go to where the Protege folder is, then to Plugins, then to GraphVis, Bin, and finally select .exe from the list of files presented to us. Hit Open, hit OK, and we're good to go. Right, so visualizing our ontologies provides an alternative way of navigating and exploring our models. The default Protege installation comes with two visualization tools, one called Alves and the other called Ontograph. In the Protege interface, Alves is available as a separate tab. You have your class hierarchy towards the left and a visualization panel on the right hand side. And within that panel, there's an asserted model tab, which allows you to view diagrammatically the spread of your concepts based on your asserted taxonomy. You can do so by selecting a class in your taxonomy and the corresponding hierarchy gets pulled. There are various buttons for showing classes and subclasses. You can also zoom in and out and even export images of your diagrams. Another useful visualization tool in Protege is Ontograph. Ontograph comes as a separate tab just like Alvis, but allows you to do different things. For example, you can select a concept from your class hierarchy, and then in the visualization panel, you can expand and view neighboring classes based on their relationships with the class you started with. Here, we're looking at all the neighboring concepts of the defined class Business Analyst. So, for example, the classes that participate in its description will get listed. And just like with Alves, Ontograph gives you a range of options for changing your visualization mode, options for zooming in and out, exporting images, and so on. There are other good tools outside of the Protege environment to help you visualize your ontologies. For example, there's one called Algred, developed by the University of Latvia. Let's say you don't have an OWL ontology visualizer installed, but you wanted to view an OWL ontology in diagrammatic form. You could do so by navigating to the Algred online utility, click Visualize Online, which will take you to a screen where you can upload your ontology file. Let's see how this works. So, I'm going to upload the Business Analysis Essentials ontology, and Algred generates for us a comprehensive map of our model, highlighting all of its classes, properties, and even individuals. It's also good to note that Algred is available as Visual Desktop Editor for Ontologies, which basically means that you can graphically work with Al entities. Also, when it comes to visualizing ontologies in Al, there are several interesting plugins for Protege you might want to explore in your own time. There's one that I find particularly interesting, called VOWL, which stands for Visual Notation for Al Ontologies. This plugin for Protege is really easy to install, much like how we did for GraphVis earlier. So by all means, 
do have a feel for these various ontology visualization tools as they make it easier, especially for non-experts, to understand what's going on in your models.